Osaka fan. Hi guys, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm just going to be making a stuffed manicotti. So if you want to see how I make this recipe, just keep watching. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. First thing I'm going to do is make the stuffing that's gonna go in these noodles. I'm gonna cook them after, and then what we do is make the stuffing, and then I'm gonna put everything in there and put it in the oven with a nice tomato sauce and cheese. First, I'm gonna get some spinach. And this is baby spinach. They already washed, but I think I'm just going to give them a little rinse. So I'm just going to take some of that. Give it a rinse. Okay. I have some brown beef. I'm going to brown that before I use it in my stuffing. I'm just going to let that get hot and then I'll put the meat in. This is a very easy thing to make, but it's very tasty. Now you could use this, I could use it just the way it is, but I like to like just kind of brown it before I use it in my stuffing. So I just want to cook these down a bit, make them soft, and then I can work with them better. I don't need any water to it. I'm just going to turn it on. See if my pan is okay for the meat. Now I'm just going to put that in there. This is very lean. So just going to add a little salt and pepper to it. With this dish, you can make them and freeze them ahead of time. You know, if you want to do it ahead of time, they freeze really well. You need a little more heat there, so it's really quick. I'm just checking on my spinach. So this one you can see I didn't add any water to it. It's a little heat and that's gonna boil it down. This one is so I can work with it to get it soft. See, that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough now. I don't want to overdo it, so now I'll just turn it off and let it cool down. So put it aside, let it cool. And this is one of those things I like to make when I, like on Saturday, when I need to go out and don't want to spend too much time cooking. See, and this you don't have to cook too much. You just want to get it so brown. And I think, yeah, look at that. I think that's good now. See, guys, look. Look at that. So you just want to get it brown a little bit. Just get rid of all that red. And now I'm going to put it in my bowl. And now start mixing everything up. I'm getting every little bit out of there. Okay, that's it. Just gonna put it here. And that's gonna go right into this. And what I'm going to do is just let that cool down a bit. But in the meantime, I'll put my um, seasoning. I'm just going to put some Italian seasoning. And I'm just going to pour that in. Because there's not a lot left. I have another bottle. 
some garlic powder and I'm not measuring just put in a, some black pepper onion powder see onion powder so I'm going to put some of it on this is going to be so tasty just a pinch of salt not too much so just pour it in here like that so I can see okay I'm going to mix it up next thing I'm going to put in there is some breadcrumbs and I have this um, breadcrumb I'm not putting too much you want to put it up just to hold it actually it's pretty much empty so just use it up I'm going to put some cheese I have some parmesan cheese in there so again I'm just pouring yeah that's enough oh more cheese somebody said more cheese okay so we're gonna put lots of parsley in there fresh Italian parsley I'm just gonna chop it all up and that parsley smells really good okay so I'm just gonna put that right in there I'm going to skip out a mix. See guys, that's all mixed up there. I'm going to let it cool a little bit. Make sure it's nice and cool before I add my egg and milk to it. I have to cook it before I use it. So they need about, I, I'm not going to cook it too long because they tend to split if you overcook them. So I'll say about five minutes because they're going to finish cooking in the Oven. If you put too many at one time, then they can split. So just have enough water and a little bit at a time. So just put that on. And put on the front too. Then I put a little salt. Not too much salt. Okay, and just let it come to a boil and then I can put them in. So now with that boiling, I'm just going to put these three. I'm going to do one tray at a time. And just for five minutes, so 15. Okay, five minutes. And I'm going to stir it, but I'm going to use a spoon, not a fork. Because you don't want to split it. Alright. Okay, so that's five minutes. I'm going to take them out. Okay, and then I'll put the others in. Just want them enough to work, be able to work with them. And again, I'm just doing five minutes. All right, now that's all done. So let's take them out. Oh, look at that. All right. So now I'm going to finish making my stuffing all seasoned up. Breadcrumbs. Now, next thing I'm going to do is put two eggs in there to hold it together so you can put the meat in raw as well right mm -hmm. yeah you can put it raw but i like to just cook it if it's raw you, then it holds a lot nicer but this is okay because it's gonna go in there you're gonna stuff it but um i just like to cook it a little bit more so i'm just gonna give it like that and just stuff them it's 
nice and full. See, that's it. It's one. And I hope I have enough stuff in there. I think I should be okay. You can always make meatballs like that too. Eh? You can always use cheese as well. Like I do this with the ricotta and spinach. That's nice too. It smells real good. And the last one. Okay, so I'm gonna now turn this on. We're doing it at 350. So I just have some spicy pasta sauce. And now I'm just gonna pour that all over these. I'm gonna make sure you get it all over then. I'm gonna cook in that sauce. And now we put some cheese on there. And this one is just some Italian cheeses. So you have provolone, you have mozzarella, parmesan, and Swiss cheese. So we just wanna sprinkle it on top. I like lots of cheese on there, so. All over like that. What do you think? That's enough. <laughs> Somebody said put more cheese. <laughs> uh, more cheese. Oh wow. Uh, it's gonna be cheesy, all right. Okay, that's it. And then I'm gonna cover it up. I'll probably put a little bit of that mozzarella on top. I mean, uh, parmesan. Just a little bit. I'll just. Yeah, that's it. And then I'm gonna cover with foil. So I'm gonna cook it for 45 minutes and then the last 15, 10 minutes, I will take the foil off and just let it kind of brown on the top. I'll see you guys in 45 minutes so you can see what it looks like. Okay, look. Oh wow, look at that. That's all done. Looks so good. Would you guys like to see one? I'm gonna put it on a plate and cut it so you can see it, okay guys? Somebody wants me to put it back for a few minutes to brown it. I think it's fine, but anyway, I'll put it on the top and then I'll cut it for you guys to see. Look at that. That looks so good. I'm gonna sit and have some of this. You can see what it tastes like. I'll let you guys know. Oh, look at that. Mm. How many should I have? Two? I think I'll have two. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have two. Delish. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have this. Cheers. Good. Thank you, Lord, for this meal. Bless it in Jesus' name. All the stuffing in here, I'm gonna see. See, guys, here, look at that. Mmm, so cheesy. Mmm. Boy, that is delicious. That is so, so, so good. And that's my kind of thing. Look at all that meat in there. Mmm. Look at that. Look all the stuffing in there. Can you guys see that? All that meaty stuffing. It's good. It's almost like, tastes like lasagna. 
thanks guys for watching I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time and i think i had i'm going to just finish this little piece up and hope you guys have a really nice weekend enjoy the rest of your day and until next time god bless each and every one of you have a wonderful day thanks guys Thank you.